Now watch how this wire out gets wide open with nobody even close to him. As you can see right here, I mean, this is just going by five to ten yards. Watch how this receiver drops, or that cornerback drops to that to that um, that underneath route. I mean, there's just nothing over here. That's one of the most explosive plays in the game right now. Here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a new money play for you guys today. An explosive passing play that I guarantee nobody knows about. This is a play that's only found in one offensive playbook in the game, the Buffalo Bills. This is a play that I recently found. The Buffalo Bills is the last ebook that I put out. It's one of the largest ebooks that I put out all year. It's one of the best playbooks in the game. And the play that I'm going to show you guys today is probably one of the glitchiest pass plays in the entire playbook. The offensive formation is out of the pistol trips. Now, this formation, I don't know if it's in a lot of different playbooks. I think it might be in the pistol formation but the play I'm going to show you guys today is only in the Bills. If you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense, that's run plays and pass plays at a future date, Woo! hit the like button let me know in the comment section. For now, it's only going to be on my Patreon on my Join Now community tab. Uh, it's going to be a, it's a really good scheme. You guys definitely want to check that out. But for now, I'm going to start off with just one particular pass play, and that pass play is the PAX Dagger. This play here, like I said, it's super glitchy. It has a, a route concept that you can't find anywhere else. But I got a lot of other plays, like the fake bubble screen is really glitchy, the PA boot. I'm not sure if I'll show any of those in this video. So hit the like button to see a full scheme. But for now, let's go and let's start off with this particular play. We're going to pick the PAX dagger, but we want to make sure that our best receiver is in his middle spot, this slot receiver spot right here. So I'm going to have more, I'm going to have the Hollywood Brown there. On the defensive side, we're going to start off with Tampa 2 like we always do and work our way back. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up and you don't want to bother spending money on packs, check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code money to get 3% off. It's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. Now, one of the things I like about this play the most is a lot of times you don't have to make any adjustments. Like against cover two here, you could run this as is, no adjustments, and this Y route here, if your receiver's fast enough, if you have a speed advantage, can get over the top of the safety. Now that's not something you're always going to want to do. Obviously the adjustments will make it better, but we can do a lot better to get that uh, that that route open. So let's streak the B route, put the X route on a slant. That's all you got to do. And now watch how this Y route gets wide open with nobody even close to him. As you can see right here, I mean, this is just going by five to 10 yards. That wasn't even the most separation I've seen. I mean, that play, however that's play set up, it's just a really easy one play touchdown. We're going to do that again. I said that's that was actually a pretty decent coverage. If I roll in the direction of Tyron Matthew and stuff like that, I mean, look at this. If I throw this ball with a little bit better timing, I mean, he's just way off. And this this guy's gone by about five to ten yards. So super glitching against cover two zone. It can have that same effect against cover two man as well, but this definitely isn't the best cover two man play. There's a better play in this formation. Like I said, hit the like button if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this passing scheme. But let's pick cover two man. Against cover two man, I mean you can have a similar effect. Only you have to motion this guy across for whatever reason. I have streaked the X route this time. Now we motion this receiver across, and you're going to see how this Y route gets right past the safety one more time. So we're going to utilize a lot of motions with the receivers that we're not using, but you're going to see how that can get you a little bit more separation. So you got to read the defense a little bit. You can make that adjustment with this receiver as well. As you're going to see, but we're going to do that same motion snap. Motion him across. Get that X route going outside there. And then, like I said, you can see that this safety just bites low for whatever reason. So it really doesn't matter what receiver you motion across. They'll both beat man coverage also. <laughs> so that's the thing. I'm in cover two zone right now. 
If I motion cross the, uh, the, the X route though, it's a little bit better of a man beater to the short side. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that motion snap one more time. Like I said, that route will get open and the Y route obviously gets open even better over the top. Although there it was a little bit closer. So like I said, you need a speed advantage, uh, but you can see how you can get almost play touchdown against cover two here as well. Next up, we got cover three and we're going to go, we're going to pick cover three sky. Same thing here. We're just going to motion this guy across. Although you have to put the B route on a, a streaker, a, a fade. I think the fade works a little bit better. But the most important part is motioning across the X route. And you're going to see how this guy here gets across. Just as long as he doesn't get jammed up too much because he did there. But you can see the cornerback was nowhere near. The cornerback was all the way at the bottom of the screen. I'll go. I'll do it one more time. But watch the cornerback over the 10-yard uh, the out route. He is so far gone. Uh, out of the play compared to normal cover threes. And this isn't like some cover three plays you gotta run from a hash mark, you can run from anywhere and you're gonna have success. Watch how this receiver drops, or that cornerback drops to that to that um, that underneath route. I mean, there's just nothing over here. That's one of the most explosive plays against cover two and cover three in the game right now. Going to the replay and watching this cornerback, it's amazing because most cover threes, this cornerback will not let anything get behind him. He will shoot back and try to take that away. And to see him this far down, when this receiver crosses the safety is unreal. There's no play in the game like this where you have a cornerback and a cover three deep outside third this far away from the receiver when you throw it. Also is a very big play against cover four. We'll start off with cover four quarters and we'll do cover four drop next. And we got pretty much the same exact setup as we're just gonna motion this guy across once again. That's all we have to do. We're gonna motion this guy across, let him get set, and we're gonna have the exact same success to the exact same route. So Y route, one more time. Like I said, I'm just waiting for him to cross. He's already gone though. I mean, he was just, he just ran right pass and assignment. As you can see, I mean, that's just another explosive one play touchdown. Like I said, this is one of the most explosive and glitchiest plays in the game. Just watch what happens here. I mean, this motion that guy across, it just gets him out of position. I don't know how else to say it. If you don't motion that guy across, he actually gets covered really well. So there's something about this formation and making that motion is really what makes this play successful against most defenses. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I mean, it should have success the same way. If you have a, enough of a speed advantage, the Y route will get open at some point. But you can see, I mean, the coverage is tight. Nope. That, that safety does a much better job for some reason than the cornerback. Just simply motioning that guy across, I don't know what it is, it just messes with the with the AI, whether it's cover two, cover three, cover four, which you're seeing now. Motioning this guy across, running this formation, I'm not sure what it is, but that wire out there, it just breaks every single defense as he's already gone. I don't even have to wait very long. I mean, he just runs right past that cornerback for a very explosive one-play touchdown against pretty much every defense we've hit so far. And that includes, of course, cover four zone, cover four drop zone, which we'll have to go, we'll go to the dollar formation to find. Now, this play here is the most unique. You can hit a home run against this defense, but I don't recommend it. There's much better one-play touchdowns against cover four. Uh, this one's great against cover two, cover three, all the man coverages. We've shown all the, the defenses that's great against. Cover four drop is not necessarily one of them, but you can still hit a one-play touchdown. You have to make the exact same motion across. You put the X route on a drag this time, and you're going to see how you can have that success. So we're going to do that. This is pretty much the only thing you have to do. That B route does a pretty good job of holding that safety down. You can see if you have a big enough speed advantage, you can get past past that safety, but if you don't have that much of a speed advantage, you're not going to get it done. So this is something that you can do, but like I said, there's better cover for one-play touchdowns in the game than this if you have it in your playbook. Uh, but there's not a lot that's, that much, that's this much better against all the other zone coverages. So we're going to do that one more time. Like I said, short side bomb, run from the hash mark to the open side of the field. And you're going to see how this Y route here, I mean, this, this route here, he just reacts to that B route. And like I said, it's a slim margin. You can get past it, but you need an elite speed receiver. I wouldn't necessarily try it in Mutt either against cover four drop. That's pretty much every defense, but let's go ahead and let's do some man coverages because we haven't done man cover one. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. Obviously, man cover one, man zero is going to react the same, but let's pick cover one robber. Just like cover two on this play, you don't really have to make any adjustments. I would still do that motion just because we've been doing it so much. Uh, you can put that B route on a uh, streak, but the B route's a really good man beater as well. So there's no real reason to take that away. And now you can see the Y route is still going to be a one-play touchdown, although I almost didn't make, I almost didn't run under that ball in time. But obviously cover one man is going to be one of the easiest ones. So without a doubt, this defense here, it home runs every single zone, every single man. Uh, you need to know what you're running a lot of times so you can make the right adjustments. But ultimately, this play is one of the most explosive plays in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there uh, because like I said, I have a full passing scheme out of this and I think it's, it's some of the plays that I haven't shown are just as glitchy as uh, some of the plays that I have. So uh, make sure to hit the like button and I'll try to put out a full scheme of this. I can put it out tomorrow. I mean, if this really blows up, I'll put out a full passing scheme out of this tomorrow. So hit the like button and let me know in the comments section to see that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.
Thank you.